Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I'm just moving something around. Uh, hope everyone is doing well. Getting this out of the way. Let's get this up here. Alrighty. Let's uh, start cleaning this off. I should have gone through my brushes. There's a... Hope everyone is doing well. It's one of those nights where I'm tired, of course. And I can't find my, like, phone, so I'm going to have to, like, be peering back at my computer screen to check, uh, check on the stream and to check, uh, on all of you guys, making sure you're not getting into too much mischief. Uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, if you guys haven't, please smash that like button. And uh, I put a little poll there. Just wanted to kind of get a general sense of uh, what people prefer as far as the uh, the type of leafing for the eye paintings and whatnot. Just wanted to see what was the the general overall favorite, or maybe this tie or something. Wasn't sure. I actually just got this like liquid silver. And what I think I want to do is I want to paint all of them first with like the liquid color and then I can go over it with the metallic. Uh, just because I feel like that will make my life so much easier. But uh, it's just me. Oh, I'm sorry if the connection is bad. It's like wind storming here right now. I've noticed that the worse the weather is where I live, the worse my service is, which sucks. At last, it is the life I live. Tulip is here. She's here for emotional support. She's going to uh, help me. She's going to help me paint. She's going to be my little helper. She is the most helpful little peek a pee in the whole wide world. You guys have no idea. And she's so full of love. She actually got a bone. So she's uh, chewing on a bone right now. Checked on the Harley Quinn painting. It's not dry yet, but, uh, you know. Fingers crossed I don't rage quit this, uh. <laughs> don't get so mad that I want to rage quit. Like, uh, my other painting. If you guys missed it, I was doing a, a painting of Harley Quinn for my month of February portrait, which I got done. Are you guys proud of me? I did a... I did a portrait. Crazy, huh? Making it happen. Just like I said I was going to. I had a goal and I stuck to it. Okay. Where's my mixer? Here it is. Okay. Let's start mixing this paint. So this is a pretty high res. Um, oh, what's up, Chris? Nice to see you here. Chris, I was actually just adding some of the metallicness to your painting earlier. Okay. Hope everyone's night is well. The fuck was that? You hear any, like, smacking? That's Tulip and her bone. She's so happy. She got the bone. It's so good. Han Tulip is so good. She is the happiest little doggy right now. Oh, my God. I'm not even filming. Damn it. 
Where's that phone? Oh, shit. A bunch of my books just fell off the shelf. Excuse me, Bubba's. What are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing, Bubba's? She's like, no one's looking at me. So like, you're not looking directly at me. I'm going to cry. Little itty bitty puppy dog. Hope is a little itty bitty puppy dog. She's so sweet. What's that noise? What's that noise? Oh, she's on her little pillow. Mm. Please smash the like button if you haven't already. Also vote in that poll. I'm excited to see the, the results of that. This uh, gentleman has freckles as well. Everyone's throwing me those uh, those challenges. You know what I find myself like having so much fun doing is like making collages of all of these eyes. So much fun.
trying this new technique. Uh, I was watching this one painter that I like on Instagram, and she only uses like a few colors to mix skin. So I'm like, huh, I wonder what it'd be like to test out her palette. Oh, did you guys hear that noise? It's a little bitty puppy tulip. It's a little bitty puppy dog. True, too. Hope my reception gets better.
So some exciting news. I'm actually going to Dallas, Texas for the first time ever next week. I'm going to be on the show You Are Here. It's like an in-person show. So uh, flying out to, to Texas. I'm excited. Obviously, I've never been before. Or I've been to Texas. I've only been to Houston. I've never been to uh, to Dallas. So I'm only going to be there for like, I don't even think 24 hours is what I looked at when I saw the, the itinerary they sent me. So um, there's not really much I can do, which is unfortunate, but uh, I'm excited to go on the show. Should prove to be an adventure. I don't know how cold it is over there. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I think Dallas is in northern Texas. I'm not too familiar with the geography of Texas.
Now for the eye color. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh, there it is.
Guys hear that? It's a little puppy snore. So cute. Oh shoot, this is a let's see. There we go. I'm getting the hiccups. I don't know why I don't even have anything out here to drink.
some red cheeks. So I got asked by this one uh, company to like review a couple of their movies. And I watched like one of the ones that they sent me that was shorter. And guys, it was so bad. Like one of the worst things I've ever seen. And I'm like, I, I mean, I, and I told them, I'm like, if you want me to review stuff, I'm going to be honest. And... <laughs> They're like, okay, if you don't uh, like it, then just don't review it. And I was like, okay. And because it's for like something that hasn't come out yet. It's nothing that would ever, uh, I don't think that would, uh, people would like lose their minds if I didn't review it. But they asked me, they're like, oh, when's your review coming out? And I'm like, I'm not going to review it. <laughs> Meaning that's my nice way of telling them that it was a bad movie. And I don't think they liked my answer, but uh, I don't care. I'm not going to sell out. Name the movie Citizen Kane. No, it's nothing new. Or no, it's excuse me, it's nothing old. It's new. It's like a new movie. But oh my god, guys, it's so bad. It's like a streaming exclusive. It's one of those type of movies. Let's just say I don't pay for that streaming service, and uh, I watch the movie. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't watch the second one because the first one was so bad. And I think that was the one that, like, they were excited about for me to watch. And I'm like, oh, can't sit through another one of these things. That shit was terrible. But, uh, usually people don't like being told 
that their movie that they they made was god awful. You know, people people don't really like that. So uh, it's like I just you know let's not talk about this again. I can't get that time back in my life. I stepping on? Oh. Oh, those cats.
O sea, no es. You guys hear her? She's making little puppy noises. <laughs> She's resting. She's so tired. It's really exhausting being so cute. Tulip is the cutest little doggy in the whole wide world. And she's super cute. Do you guys hear that little noise? She's so sweet. So Peaches, uh, he'll always like watch Star Trek with me, but uh, we've watched all the Star Trek through already a few times. So we want to try something different. So to my shock, I went inside one day and he was watching Stargate and I was like, oh my God, I'm so proud. He said that he saw it when he was a kid, when it was coming out and whatnot, but uh, 
you know, it's refreshing his memory. I'm still proud. Like, yay. It's a show we both can watch. Sometimes I'll watch shows that I have no interest in. But uh, vice versa. I did not, I know not everyone wants to watch Star Trek all the time. It's part of life I've just had to accept. I mean, it's okay. People are allowed to be wrong. That stupid song stuck in my head where it's like, eat me a lot of peaches. <laughs> it's like thinking about peaches. If you guys haven't yet, please smash the like button. Please and thank you. I hear power tools. I think Peaches is home. He ran to Home Depot to go get some part for the... He's been fixing up his old truck.
see how this looks. Let me... Uh, who's your favorite character in Lord of the Rings? Oh, thank you for the super chat. Um, I know this is going to be boring, but I would say Aragorn or Gandalf. I was always excited to see them when uh, they were on the movie. I can't see who sent that super chat, but whoever did, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Hmm. Because I knew when Aragorn showed up, like, shit got real. That was, like, one of the things I didn't like about Return of the King, though, is, like, once he goes in the mountain, he's gone for, like, half the freaking movie. I, you know, I really liked Theoden as well. I, I thought he was a good character. And then, um... <laughs> my whole life when, um... I was younger... Uh, and I was watching it, uh, once, um, which well, my sisters would tease me that I looked like Frodo and everything. Cause I had that stupid haircut and that's, that's honestly what my hair looked like. Uh, so <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> but, um, when Faramir, uh, you know, his relationship with his dad, that uh, very much reflected or reflected my childhood with my mother. And uh, I think if it wasn't, if, you know, if my sister would have passed away when we were kids, that whole like scene where he's like, you wish that like I would have died and Bar Mill would have lived, that would have been me and my mom. Because uh, it was never her favorite child. And it's been very strange now, uh, after everything that happened. But um, so yeah, watching uh, <laughs> Return of Return of the King has a uh, some some different context for me, and it was even more awkward because that was like the last movie we all saw together as a family, because uh, my mom left, and so I still I remember going to the theaters and all of that. I remember I saw the the two towers in theaters with like a friend because my parents and took my sisters and they didn't take me to see the two towers. So I uh, I went with one of my friends, but we missed like the beginning of the movie because uh, her parents were like running late or something. I don't remember why. So I missed like the first hour. They got the times wrong. I think that was what it is. I think they just sent us in. They wanted to see their movie, and so they just sent me and my friend in to see the, the two towers. And uh, so we show up, and they're, like, at Helm's Deep, and we're like, what's going on? <laughs> they're like, all right, the bad guys. So I didn't know who, like, half the characters were or what happened. I think we got in there at the part where, like, uh, Aragorn is, like, kissing Arwen and like, the dream thing. And we're like, what the hell? So, uh, I didn't know what happened until we got it on VHS. Russia is bombing the Ukraine. Ah, uh, shit. Well, we knew that that was going to happen, didn't we? And come on. They, uh... When you give somebody power, they're not going to relinquish it. And, uh... I don't know if I want to say what I, what I think about this on the internet. I don't want to mysteriously get epstein but uh, people tend to disappear mysteriously when you deal with a uh, the certain dude from uh, Russia, right? And it's like if they don't do it now, then Ukraine gets accepted into NATO, then. 
Russia can't touch them. So, of course, they're going to do it. It was just, it wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when. It's unfortunate facts of the world that we live in. One of my um, friends from high school, her cousin was adopted from this Russian uh, orphanage. And oh, she talked about her childhood. Her mom, like her dad was dead. And her and her mom lived in a barn. And what, what happened? They had to eat their dog one winter. I remember her telling me that. And so like she doesn't ever want to have a dog because she's traumatized by that. And then her mom died. And so she was in this orphanage. And when she got adopted, she was bald because they all got lice in the orphanage. So they just kept all the kids bald. And I was like, that's terrible. I remember there was one story I was watching. Was it, um, this one famous actress, I think, where she was talking about what it was like to go up in Russia? I don't know if you can hear my cats. That freaking cat. So loud. He's pissed. So we won't let him mate with his sister. I mean, Peaches just show her, like, we should have named the cats Jamie and Cersei. That's what.
What's that little noise? Did you make little noise? Did you little puppy dog. Sweetest girl. What tulip was that noise? What are you doing? Oh, she's so cute.
What is that? Is that peaches? Is that peaches, Tulip? Speak any louder. Sexy. Babe, I'm live right now. No, choo choo. All right. <laughs> Let's get back to this. Did you guys know that Kermit the Frog's eyes were made out of ping pong balls? Fun fact of the day.
barking. Whenever she barks, I know it's because she's guarding us like sweet angel. She's protecting us. Not like her little tiny itty bitty puppy teeth would be able to do anything, but uh, it's a thought that's there. She's our little guard dog. She's so sweet. She's the sweetest little dog in the whole wide world. And I love her so, so much. She's a little princess. So I had to watch this documentary, We're not through it, but there's like ugh, fucking 56 parts documentary on Chris Chan and which well, mm, I was talking about it because uh, my friend Gundam sent it to me. So we were talking about the whole like Wings of Redemption drama and I had to watch a documentary on that guy. And he's like, that's nothing. Watch this one.
Can you guys hear her? Can you guys hear her little barks? Oh, she's so sweet. She's got a little puppy voice. And she's using it. It's the sweetest little barks in the whole world. There's no other barks that's as sweet as the tulips barks. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> She's barking. Picking up a princess. There's a little hair on here that I think belongs to her. So, come on. Um, thank you for the second super chat. Uh, what did you find most motivating, or what do you find most motivating about life? And that is from longevity. Um, well, that depends on what part of of life. Um, like, is it like when like I'm motivating about like work? financially, uh, romantically. It really depends. But, um, I guess for work, um, a lot of it has to do with, uh, like to prove, prove it to myself that I can do it. And then, I don't know, I just, I feel like accomplished when I do get something done. And I, I like that feeling. I like the feeling of being accomplished. It's the same thing when uh, I finish like a painting. Like I feel like, yes, I did it. And uh, I found that the harder I work, the sweeter it is. Like the sweeter that accomplishment tastes when I finally complete it. Like when I was doing Inktober. And that was like absolute hell. I was waking up the crack of dawn. I was drawing on my kitchen counter, my back hurt, and then I started running out of ideas. I started running out of ink for my markers, but when it was done, I had so much to show for it, and I felt so accomplished, like, yes, I did it, and just like with these eyes, when I um, see all of them together, I'm like, I fucking did that. Like, I made that. I painted that. None of that existed before. And I created something that didn't exist and that wouldn't exist without me, right? Like these eye pictures would exist, but you'd never see them the way that I paint them if it wasn't the fact that I was alive and I learned how to do this and I did it. It's kind of like in um, Star Trek, the movie, when Captain Kirk is climbing El Capitan. And Spock is like, why, why are you climbing this mountain? Like, what's the point? And he's like, because it's there. And I always loved that quote. But, um, I don't know, I've always had this drive to, like, make things. So when I was a kid, I would, uh, like, build, like, call them mud houses for my action figures. And... My like parents always thought I was gonna like be an architect or something. Uh, 
I always enjoyed painting, like I always gravitated towards painting. And so when I was in, uh, it's like the thing that I enjoyed doing the most. Like if I had a choice on what I wanted to do, like even when I'm tired of painting and I go inside and I'm hanging out with peaches and I'm lay, we're laying on the couch and I'm watching TV. Like I just think I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'll see something that I think it looks cool and I'm like, oh, that would be so much fun to paint. Right? And that just, it motivates me to do stuff. And you know what else is motivating? It's like, I just want to hear for once in my life, I just want to hear my mom say that something I make looks good. I know that's cheesy, but, you know, even though she's like complimented my stuff before, she's never just straight up said, that looks good. Or that looks really good, Anna. And so, <laughs> it's that, uh, I don't know, it's that weird part of me that I'm like, I just want to please my damn mom, right? Like, even take in mind what I said earlier about uh, the whole Lord of the Rings Faramir <laughs> kind of thing. It's like, I just, and how he just wanted to, like, make his dad happy and, like, make his dad proud of him. I know that's silly to say, but, uh. That's a, a definite motivator. Trying to think what else what else motivates me in life. Um, well, proving uh, my enemies wrong is definitely a motivator. It's not like the top thing, but like if I'm, let's say, in a competition with someone, let, let's say I definitely don't like. It's like, all right, I'm, I will win, whatever it is, or I'll find a way if I don't win the thing that we're competing in. I'll find a way to be better at you than something, which usually comes down to painting or something or ideas. I'm trying to think of an example and it's escaping me. Funny too, never barks this much. Except that one time she saw the raccoons. She was like on edge all night. She's like, those raccoons are gonna come near my human. Kill you.
<sighs> Can you guys hear my princess? Little princess is barking. She's got the sweetest little barks in the whole world. It's funny, she never barks this much, though. Oh shit. I might have to go get her. She's being a little brat. I bother my neighbors. This is the one problem with being having a spoiled animal. I think they can get away with everything. Which to be fair, they usually can. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get her. Tulip! Tulip! Come in. Inside. Are you barking? What were you barking at my baby? Oh, you scared. Oh, poor Christ. Why are you so cold? You guys wanna say hi, Tulip? Say hi, Tulip. Say hi, Tulip. Say hi. Hi, that's my painting. Oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Princess, you were barking. You're the sweetest bark in the whole wide world. Oh, my princess. Are you honking? Can I kiss? Kiss, kiss. Oh, thank you. So sweet. Okay, now you sit on your pillow and you be quiet. You rest from all that precious barking. You rest. My tulip. Oh, my tulips. My little angel. My spoiled little girl. There's nothing over there. Tulip. My tulips. Tulips. She's on her little pillow. She's being silent little angel. I think she was just scared outside. She was so scared. Oh, Tulip, were you scared? These are bad stuff outside. Why is it dark? Little itty bitty puppy dog. Littlest little itty bitty puppy dog. You scared those raccoons, Bubba. You scared it. You keep them away. Don't let them get the kitty cats. Tulips, 
silly. Silly girl. She's being so cute right now. She's just laying there looking at me. On her little puppy pillow. Sweetest little doggy the whole wide world. No, no, no barks. Tulip, you need to be princess, no be but. Tulip, no barks. That's just an airplane. Tulips, you are be but. Nobody likes but, but everybody likes princess, so stop be but. That was a weird noise. I don't know what that was. Hey. If I let you out there, you're going to just walk outside. No. No, no, no. Tulip. You know me. Stop me. But please. Tulip. You have the sweetest little bark in the whole wide world, but not everybody wants to hear it right now. You're being a butt. No. I'm not letting you out because you're just going to be a man. And Pete just can't watch you right now. He busy. Oh, brat. She's looking at me like, let me outside, mom. Let me outside. Oh, shit. No bubbles. No. No. You stop it.
Some hair that just got on. I think this is good. Haha, got it. Now it's time to add the, the freckles, which are usually the bane of my existence. Two, two, a little two, she's resting now, she's been such a sweet little girl now, so much better than earlier when she was barking like crazy, she would be crazy girl earlier, now she'd be a princess, oh tulip, love you so much. Sweetest little girl, whole wide world. Sweetest little angel, her little puppy pillow. 
Oh guys, she's on her little pillow. And that's a done. Let me get pictures. Okay. Now let's edit this time lapse. Ooh, that was a a lot. Russell, thank you for the super chat. When are you doing Sauron? Oh, Russell. Russell, what am I going to do with you? Paint Sauron last. Okay. Let me bring up my my saw thing with the super chat. Nobody puts Sauron in the corner. I do. Mwahaha. So this is the last one I painted.
Hmm. Ah. Oh, cool. We got up to a hundred and five likes. Thank you so much, everyone. We're getting so close to getting 50 eye done, or 50 eyes done. This was number 46. See how long it takes this damn thing to load. Who's coming on the Jack show tomorrow? I don't know. Kelsey actually messaged today asking if somebody else could host. I don't know where the hell Cecil is. He went to MIA. I think his uh, sugar mama was beating the shit out of him. <laughs> Cecil's moving into a new house in the Hamptons. Russell, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, Peach is really warm out. The Fuck you, Russell. 
Oh my god, why is this taking so goddamn long to upload? <laughs> and it will probably end up on You guys all complain when I host. Can't do anything right. Plus, ugh, I don't know. I actually don't like hosting shows. I much more prefer it when somebody else hosts. Oh, shit. Come on, this one. Okay, cool. I think it just uploaded. Okay. You guys see? Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Da. Ah, as we go up. Look at all the eyes, look at all the eyes, and refresh. Bada, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna post this. Go leave me a nice comment. Two, 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 two. And go report all of these. Tulip, stop it. Tulip. Tulip, be a good girl, please. No big butt. Did you paint my head in uh, I don't think so, Spike. It, you would be able to see. On the names. Also, you probably would have seen your eye show up. Yeah. Choo choo, please be a good girl. Oh, you little shit. Hope you guys like it. Tulip, stop being a little shit, please. Tulip, I love you. Stop being brat. Mm. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It's blue and green.
I'm posting it on Twitter as well. I'm just answering, you've done better? Oh, how dare you? <laughs> Back to the boob art, oh God. Yay, there we go. It's crazy how different everyone is. That's the beauty of it. Mm. I don't know why this eye looks like so innocent. Like it looks like the eye of like a little cherub or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah. All right. Well, that's uh. Hey, just what are you doing? Did he just steal my dog? He just stole my dog. But yeah, I think what I need to do is I need to start painting the eye bigger. Like you see how these ones are? I drew them bigger. This one I think I drew a little small. Uh, it didn't seem small, but also this one I took up more of the canvas to get, I don't know, the cheek color. So yeah. Uh, Anna, did you hear a rumor about tarot and readers and astrology not being able to get monetized? Yeah, that's a lie. I got put into this YouTube partner thingy with like a YouTube manager. And one of the people in it is like a tarot slash horoscope person. They put out videos every single day for like people's horoscopes. They have like 300,000 subs and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I don't believe that. Uh, but yeah, got everything done, but, uh, I'm all done. So yeah, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you like the stream, let me know if you didn't, that's okay too. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go now. Uh, go follow me on the Instagrams. Oh, you know what? I think it's on, uh, Twitter. Let me pull it up. I think it uploaded onto my Twitters. Let me see. Oh, no. Okay, it's uploading. Oh, let me show you guys this. So, I put all of the uh, eyes, or not all of them, but here's 30, the first 36 eyes all in one photo. Pretty trippy, huh? Ah. Come on. Oh, damn it. I'll let you guys look at that for a second. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to upload this so you guys can see it on Twitter, but it's taking for fucking ever. Just upload my thing. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
36. Which one is your favorite? Does anybody have a favorite eye? Looks like a cover of Pearl Jam. <laughs> ah, that'd be cool album art. Oh, fuck you. Mm, slick Rick. I almost said Russell Hall. Um. Oh. oh, I just popped my neck and it felt so good. Just want this. Four on bottom. This one? Okay, okay. Number six. This one? Okay, okay. Bottom right and the bluer one stand out. Yeah, this one is Raging Rhino's eye. He sent me a really good photo. I didn't even count how many girls are on this. So this is the first girl I painted. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So out of 36, there's only 10 that are girls. Fourth row down. One, two, three, four. Second from the right. Oh, this one? Fifth row, last one on the right. This one? One of the ladies? <sighs> oh, sorry. A lot of really good work. Well, thank you. I'm excited to make another one of these. This will be fun. Thank you, MC. It might not be from your mom, but this random internet person is proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Second row, third from the top, from the right is the best. That's because it's your eye. Holy shit, this took long. This is taking longer to upload to Twitter than it did to freaking upload to Instagram. This is ridiculous. Monday make an angry brow. That's what this one is. This is Graham Nolan's eye. Yeah, was making an angry expression. Ukraine under attack. Let's Google that. What's going on? News. Russia attacks Ukraine. Oh shit. Fourteen minutes ago. Russia destroys Ukraine's air base and air defenses. Oh, shit.
freaking download my fuck. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to talk about sad stuff. Who's the one that scared shitless? Bottom row, third from the right. Are we talking about my right? Like this one? So, uh, you'd have to go and check what this gentleman's name is. This one right here is my stepdaughter. This is the munchkin's eye. Oh, thanks, sweet baby Jesus. It's uploaded. Okay, let's refresh. All right, it's on Z Twitters. I'll link it. Go smash this like button. Go retweet it. And then leave me a comment, please, and thank you. But yeah. Here it is on the Twitters. So let's see the leafing. What leafing do you like best for eyes? Gold is at 47%. Copper is at 26% and silver is at 27%. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Let me end the poll. Well, thanks for that uh, response, guys. Uh, interesting, interesting. Well, now that that is there, uh, go, like I said, go uh, smash the like on this. Go retweet it. Go leave me a comment. And if you guys haven't volunteered for this project, uh, please volunteer. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I will be back, what day is it, tomorrow, Friday? And I'll be back tomorrow with another painting stream. And, uh, yeah, guys, until, oh, wait, no, I'm going to be cleaning all day tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be miserable. Uh, my best friend and his boyfriend are going to be in town. They're going to Disneyland, so I hope that I can see them. But, uh, yeah, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you guys... Oh, Thursday. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Okay, so never mind. I will paint tomorrow before the Jack show. Uh, but everyone, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Leave a comment on the way out. Smash the like button. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to uh, need it. Bye, everyone.